Hello colleagues, I'm joined again by Kate from The Food Boss and we are talking about how to prepare yourself for going back to work, um, looking at nutrition and how you can help yourself and make the transition easier. So last week we spoke about getting your energy levels up and what simple ways of actually improving that to make the transition easier. And this week we're going to be talking about eating habits. So thanks for joining me again, Kate. You're welcome. It's nice to be back as always. Yes. So what can we talk about today? What are, we going to sh- what are you going to share with us? Your gems of wisdom? Oh, thanks. Yeah. So eating habits, they've probably changed over the last 12 months, probably quite significant, significantly for a lot of you. Um, so I just wanted to talk about some top tips to kind of regulate your eating habits, how to snack well, uh, and what to kind of focus on. So I wanted to start by talking a little bit about focusing on plant foods first. It's very topical at the moment and for good reason, because actually we all should be reducing um, our meat and dairy particularly uh, and fish intake. Uh, And I'm going to talk a little bit about why we shouldn't just focus on reducing things uh, when it comes to to plant foods. So typically we, um, we live in a world where we always want to think, what can we cut out of our diet? Would that be fair? Yeah, true. What can I cut out of my diet to make me healthier? When actually, if we try to flip that positively, um, and focus on what can I include in my diet to make it healthier, inadvertently, we're more likely to then include more nutritious foods and actually the foods that are perhaps less nutritious, like highly processed foods, potentially meat and dairy products and fish will kind of go by the wayside a little bit if we just focus on what we should include. Does that make sense? I love that. Actually, I really like that because you're so, you're so right. It's always cut down on your fat, cut down on your sugar, cut down on meat. And you're right, you're changing the focus, which actually makes it easier to do. Yeah, love it. So what should you include then? That's where we should go to next. So definitely more plant-based foods. Um, And that does come back to, from a health, but also sustainability perspective around um, reducing our, our meat, fish and dairy, but that's particularly around the environment. But by focusing on plant foods, they've got a really positive effect on our gut bacteria. So types of plant foods you want to look at are things like lentils, um, pulses and beans, which are really great, particularly at home, because you can keep them in the pantry. They have a really long shelf life. And if you're taking them into work, they're easy to prep and kind of keep them in in the fridge in a salad, something like that. Um, Then we want to look at things like plant-based sources of protein. And these would be things like tofu is a really good one or soya beans, uh, they, you can find them in the frozen section of the supermarket and they're also really, really good in salads as well. So focus on what you can include within your day from a plant perspective, more fruits and vegetables, um, lentils and pulses, as I've mentioned, eggs are a really good source of protein as well. Um, and by focusing all of trying to focus all your meals around fruit and veg and what you can include, you should notice that inadvertently you might start to consume less of the Um, less nutritious foods, which actually isn't great overall for your energy levels because they don't keep us full and and, um, satisfied for as long as um, other types of plant-based foods that are high in fiber. So what would you recommend for snacks or building a balanced meal? Yeah, great question. So um, building a balanced meal, I'd always focus on what plants are you got in there? So have you got veggies in there? Have you got fruit in there? Have you got pulses in there first? Uh, Because that's a really good starting starting point. And then for a meal, you want to make sure you've got some protein in every single meal. So things like that are really good sources of protein are like a 0% fat Greek yogurt is really, really good. Um, So for breakfast, that could work. Eggs are great. Tofu is good. Edamame, like I said, chickpeas and lentils are good. And then if you are consuming meat, because we do still want to consume some meat within the diet, things like chicken and turkey, or a lean type of um, white fish are also really good sources of protein. And then you want to look at at carbohydrates. But if you've got some plants in there, they are also sources of carbohydrates. So you then might just want to have a smaller portion of something like potatoes, pasta, rice, couscous, something like that. Um, And then for snacks, again, always try to kind of snack on something like a fruit or a vegetable. Raw veg is really good with a dip. Um, And you can try to include some protein in there too. So something like rice cakes with um, a little bit of avocado and maybe some sliced egg on it is a really good idea for a snack. It's easy to transport to work because you could kind of deconstruct it and then take it with you. 
Oh, I haven't bought rice cakes for a while. I'll have to buy some, put them on my list. They're good and they last for ages as well. Thank you so much. Great information as always. And we'll see you next week. Thanks, Susie. Bye. Bye.